So the first one that I want to show you guys is under display and brightness. We're going to come down here to high refresh rate or to screen refresh rate, I should say. By default, it's going to be set to auto select. And what that's going to basically do, as you can see, is use the optimal refresh rate. It doesn't necessarily make sense for this device to just be 24 seven at 120 Hertz. Sometimes it can drop down to standard. You can set it to standard if you want to just preserve battery life, but you can also set it to high, which has it at 120 all the time, but you can now go in and set app specific refresh rates. So if there is an app that doesn't need to be at 120, you can actually go in and change it between 120, 90, and 60 hertz. This next one is an Android 14 feature that doesn't get a whole lot of love, but I think it's pretty cool. Let's go into Google Photos. We're going to long press on a photo, and then what we can do once we're able to drag it is we can use a second finger to go home and then open up another application and then actually drop that in as you can see there, that photo is now inside thread. So it's, it's a new way to do drag and drop without having to split screen, just using two fingers. If we long press on our launcher, let's go into more under swipe down on home screen before we had the shelf and we had notification drawer. Now we have the option for a global search, which I quite like. It takes me back to the universal search days of the Palm Pre or even using EV Launcher more recently than that. I'm a big fan of that. I know some people like to have it be the notification drawer. I like universal search a lot, so that is a cool one. Health Connect is now actually integrated with the system. As you can see, it stores your health and fitness data, giving you a simple way to sync the different apps on your phone. It's super frustrating sometimes to have all these different like health tracking things. This kind of brings them all together. As you can see here, you can access it directly in the settings, uninstall the Health Connect app at any time to free up storage. It's literally built in. You can see here zero of two apps have access. So what I can do here is I can come in and I can say, let's allow Fitbit, let's allow Fit to have access. And now they're gonna talk to each other and sync that data. And you can see what they're going to be syncing. I think this is pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the portion from the other day's video, the new features I saw there. And I'm just gonna give you that section again. If you've already seen this, feel free to skip ahead to the outro. But for those that haven't, this will kind of be more of a like a one stop shop for all the new features. So we're going to jump into the photos app because I think some of the new things are going to be there. Cut out part of a photo has popped up. So let's try and find a photo that we think will work well. How does this work? On Samsung, you just sort of long press it. Well, for some reason, it didn't work the first time, but I did it again, and boom, there you go. We actually have popped it out just fine, and we're going to, let's just save that. So that should save it as its own image. That This is such a like useful thing that I'm just, I'm glad is here in most applications. Like that did a pretty good job, right? That's pretty cool. There's also supposed to be text extraction. So let's see, it says with one tap, copy, save, share. Looks like that just did the pop out. But I do like, by the way, that the pop out thing, cool animation, but also that it has a copy button there. How do we pop out? Is, is it just this lens thing? Is that new? That might be what it is. It might be sort of powered with Google Lens. That's good. Actually, I just noticed there's a little search button down here. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. There's a little search button down there. Let's jump into these settings. Do widgets look any different? No, they do not. They have still not added a search to the widgets, which is a little bit annoying. Under wallpapers, I believe that's different. That used to be in a little three, uh, three dot thing up there in the corner, but I think that that's, I believe that's new. Something else I wanna check out. Let's go to done here and let's try and change this edit. Yes, there it is. So there was a bug where you would go to change the icon and okay, correct me if I'm wrong, did they categorize them before? I don't remember. But the bug was that if you kept scrolling long enough, it would just glitch out and it would stop loading new icons and that bug is still present. So that's a bummer. Apparently there is a new always on display thing that's supposed to be talking about like 
carbon footprint or something there there it is carbon footprints what does this do so i guess it's supposed to show like how much walking you're doing and by virtue of that it's going to give you like a little carbon footprint thing i'm not really sure who this is for so something else that i don't think was here by default they've added to the end here because i think i only had one page was link to windows i think that is now a system application so i've got phone link set up here and basically what this does is it allows you to access your phone from your computer so you can actually clear your notifications and obviously see your notifications as well from your your text messages calls and actually your applications are going to show up here as well what you can do with this is actually really really cool people are going to dig this so if i launch an application i'm going to stream this from my phone to the computer and you can go one step further you can obviously pick app by app but you can also just fire up your phone screen in general which is something that i've used in the past quite a bit Ooh, controls down here at the bottom as well this appears to be pretty darn well integrated so guys there you go that is android 14 on the oneplus open hopefully that's pretty much all of the new stuff. I know that there are some things in Android 14 regarding like accessibility things, better for, for hearing aids and different font sizes and things like that. I'm not going to dig too deep into those, but by and large, I think those are most of the big features. You can decide for yourself if you should continue being excited, waiting and waiting and waiting for OnePlus to deliver it or not based on that. And if you want to see the full procedure of how I got here, that video again is linked in the description down below. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.